Hi everyone, this is Devin from the Egan family and today I have a video that's just a little bit different than our usual videos. Um, I had a very sweet subscriber comment on one of our curriculum videos saying that they would specifically like to see some flip throughs of the 180 days of social studies and geography for second grade from Shell Education. And so that is what I will be doing today. Um, like I said, if you ever see anything in our videos that you are curious about and would like to see more of, never feel afraid to ask in the comments. I'd be more than happy to do this. I have kind of an interesting setup going on. So if you see some shadows, it's super late. Um, the kids are in bed, so I'm trying not to wake them up. And I also don't quite have the correct tripod situation for this. So I'm sorry if there's glares or anything weird like that. So hopefully this is okay. If there's anything else you would like to see, let me know. And so with that being said, let's get into this. We'll start with geography um, and I'll show you kind of how it's um, set up. I'll talk through it and then I'll kind of just flip through a little bit. Um, now I will say there is a geography portion to the social studies one. So if you didn't want to focus heavily on geography, um, it would be very easy to not purchase this book and just to hope that the other one gives you enough. But um, geography is something that I have always struggled with. Um, so I really wanted to make sure that these skills were being drilled in for Parker. So when you open it up, they, you know, there's a table of contents. There is a section in all of these books about how they recommend you use them. Um, all the different introductions. So this tells you about your weekly themes. Week one through 36. There are 36 weeks of these. Um, and then it tells you which types of themes, location, or topic, location, and themes that you will be focusing on um, in each of the sections. And it goes, like I said, all the way to week 36 more um, instructions on how to use the book, practice pages using the resources, um, diagnostic assessment to complete the practice page item analyses, um, and then more how to use the book, especially like you can use this if you are a teacher in a regular classroom as well for whole class support. Um, standards and correlations, and it tells you what week they're focused on. And here we go. So this starts week one, day one. Um, and then, so this one, it this is, it tells you on the side what skill it's working on. And then this is about what you get every single day. Um, just something very easy. It only takes maybe five minutes a day to complete each of these um, pages. So this week one is map skills. And so it just expands on the different symbols each. So you get the same um, map and then the questions are just different, making sure you really truly understand what you're reading in the map. And then this one um, is making sure that you could understand a grid map and then you have to draw a map yourself. So those are map skills. Uh, week two, day one, we're still on map skills, but this is now obviously, um, Canada and United States and Mexico in this one. And then this one, it shows the oceans as well. Sorry if the power's flickering, we're in the middle of a thunderstorm as well. So, um, and this is shows topography and then more continents there. Um, this is more reading a map skills, which directions drawing more maps, and this is reading the text and answering the questions. Um, think about it, how are the images the same? And then draw a map of your classroom. So this is geography and me. Um, so here we are, we're all the way on week four now. More maps, read about it, think about it. Geography and me, reading maps creating maps, read about it. So it really does mix up the skills. Think about it. Geography and me. All right, week six, how borders are made.
We're on week seven. Talking about urban and rural communities and population. Week eight. Reading about the Great Basin region and elevation. Week nine, we're talking about German immigration. And you even get to learn some German words, which is pretty cool because my husband was born in Germany. Um, week 10, we have Atlantic and Gulf Coastal Plains. Talking about a port and um, well, this is from Baltimore. How cool. We just went to Baltimore talking about how goods are being loaded onto the ship. Week 11, talking about popu comparing population in states, more information on population. So this is what I like about these books is that it did bring up the idea of population um, a few weeks ago, but now it's bringing it back and going in depth to really make sure that the student is understanding um, the topics. This is week 12 and we're focusing on rivers and deltas a reading passage on the Mississippi. And then week 13, we're talking about the Great Lakes. And depth. And now we're back to reading and creating maps for week 14, making sure we understand directions, community helpers, Week 15, we're back to American Lakes and Rivers. Clean water. Pollution. Conserving water. Week 16, we're looking at the maps again. Finding cities on maps and directions. Finding lakes on maps. Um, talking about um, urbanization, nice Venn diagram to compare from long ago to today. Week 17, we're talking about canals and waterways, really focusing on the Panama Canal. <clears throat> Week 18, we're talking about Niagara Falls and um, different borders into Canada. And electricity. All uh, week 19, we're back at the map and bordering countries in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, week 20, we're talking about the 13 original colonies and bison. Uh, 21, we're talking about the American regions, west, midwest, south, and northeast. Air conditioning is focused on here, electricity. Um, week 22, we're talking about the Continental Divide. Week 23, we're looking at some more uh, maps, focusing on Alaska. I have a cat coming my way, so you might get to see my Ruby in a second if she decides to come through. So here's Alaska and transportation in Alaska. Um, week 24. Oh, we're talking about New York and moving west in the Erie Canal. 
Um, we're back talking about American regions. And now we're focusing on the Midwest and corn production. Week 26, we're talking about the states that collect most solar energy and sources of power. Week 27, we're focusing on the Aztec Empire, so we're down in Mexico. Week 28, uh, we're talking about the Bering Strait and oceans. Week 29, we have some Canadian things. We're talking about Canada and settlers in Canada. Week 30, we're talking about the Chesapeake Bay. Week 31, we're talking about the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River. Uh, week 32, we're talking about the Great Plains. Week 33, the Transcontinental Railroad. <clears throat> And then a new railroad here is this passage. Week 34, we're talking about the, um, the four main regions again. And back to population. Week 35, we're talking about Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks. And bringing back wolves to Yellowstone. And talking more about um, endangered species. Very cool. Week 36, we're talking about top producers of fruit and vegetables and crops in the United States, temperatures and in the regions. And week 30, this is the end, week 36. Now there are answer keys here that I ripped out and I keep in my teacher binder, um, but there are also different ways that you can chart if you have a full class. So the student names and then the different weeks. Um, but we obviously won't need that as um, a homeschool family, and then this is just some digital resources in the back. So that was the 180 Days of Geography for second grade by Shell Education, and this is 100 Days of Social Studies for second grade. So this one has civics, economics, geography, and history. So let's get into this one. Um, it's set up pretty much the same way, just different topics. We got the table of, ten, blah, 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 blah. table of contents, introduction, um, how to use the book, weekly stru structure, weekly topics and themes. So this one goes on a loop. Week one is history, two is civics, three is geography, four is economics. Then we're back to history, civics, geography, economics, and it loops throughout the whole 36 weeks like that, but touches on different topics every time. More how to use standards and correlations. And then we're at week one, day one, history. So you have to look at the picture, read the text, answer the questions. Very simple, same thing, same thing. And there we go. Week two, we're talking about civics. So it's talking about citizenship, rights and freedoms, and responsibilities. 
week three, we're in geography. This is what I'm talking about. If you don't necessarily want a separate geography curriculum, this does have some of it. So you will learn map skills in this book if you don't want to purchase both. But I did want the extra. I um, We are focusing on the United States. So I loved the fact that it went into different regions and states in more depth in the geography book. But this still, like I said, does do um, generalized map skills. So week four, we are on economics, so money good and money and goods and services and distribution of goods. Week five, we're back to history. So this is talking about Sally Ride and Marie Curie and then some more famous people. Um, now we're back on history here. Oh, wait, no, that's day five. Sorry. Day or week six, we are um, at, back on uh, civics. And so it's just the symbol, the great seal, the flag, Statue of Liberty, Mount Rushmore, and then comparing them. Then we have geography, reading them the map, talking about what a community is, find the state of Texas, different things like that, countries. Compass Rose. Now we're on week eight. We're back at economics, talking about money, goods, clothing, um, services, wants, needs, all those things. Budgeting. I do like that they have budgeting in here as well. Now we're back to history. Abraham Lincoln, Sitting Bull, George Washington Carver, Jackie Robinson, comparing, contrasting. Um, week 10, we're back to civics, talking about the bald eagle, um, the rose, and state flowers, Liberty Bell, White House, Lincoln Memorial, and Washington Monument. And then we're back to geography for week 11. So it's labeling um, North America, the United or yeah, North America. Um, so Canada. Oh, hi, Ruby. I told you she was coming. Canada, United States, and Mexico. And then the globe and the equator. Oceans. We're back at economics for week 12. Consumers. Trade, producers, consumers, market, competition, goods, and services. Back at history, Louis Pasteur, Golda Meyer, um, Einstein, Alexander Graham Bell, civics, rules, laws, lady justice. Difference between rules and laws. Then we're back for geography. Talking about immigration. More map reading. Week 16 is economics. Producers. Public services, goods and services. So like I said, it takes the same generalized topic and just kind of lo keeps looping back to make sure you're really reiterating. History, um, difference between family long ago and today. Civics, citizens, president, Congress. President versus Vice President, Geography, Weather,
economics, scarcity, resources. I just realized I took my wedding bands off and uh, didn't put them back on. Now I feel a little naked. <laughs> anyway, continuing. History, Maria Tallchief, Will Rogers, Jim Thorpe, and Pocahontas. Civics, three le the different levels of government, what a governor is in charge of, more on local government, difference between federal and local, back of geography, we're talking about um, building houses and villages. Natural hazards, economics, where do we get money? What kind of work people can do? How can you earn money? History, we have Henry Ford and different cars, Orville and Wilbur Wright, more different modes of transportation inventions of long ago and today back at civics um democracy and representatives values life diversity patriotism majority rule and truth different democratic values geography again um deforestation altering lands Building bridges and highways, waterways, economics, back talking about more producers, selling goods, making a profit, history, once again comparing long ago and today, different inventions. Civics, money, sales tax, property tax, income tax, um, what taxes are used for, geography, um, consumers, and where we get oil from, and what else we can take from the earth. Fishing in the United States and um, growing crops, economics, starting a small business and saving money for short times and long times, which I really, like I said, I really like this aspect of it, teaching children how to be entrepreneurs and um, good ways to save their money. I think that's very interesting. Um, history, we're talking again about community from long ago and houses, travel. It's so again a community long ago, my community today, Venn diagram. Civics, Martin Luther King Jr., Amelia Earhart, Helen Keller, Theodore Roosevelt, Roosevelt Sojourner Truth. I can't talk. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. George Washington, um, Navajo. And we have more geography. Talking about traveling to our country and getting ideas um, and how things are much more easy now as far as that's concerned once again touching on natural disasters <clears throat> why people move cities or countries back at economics for week 36 the last week producers natural resources cotton 
and then it ends there. Once again, there was an answer key in here that I tore out so Parker can use this book and I can have the answers at hand. And this one does have, um, like I said, full classroom analysis pages, which I left in there because we will not need those. There goes the power again. Oh man. And there is a map in here um, in the back for reference for the student if they ever need it. There's a North American map, a political map of the United States where it breaks down um, all of the states and their capitals, and then the physical map of the full United States. And once again, there's digital resources available there and a place for teacher notes in the way back. So, those were both of these books, 180 Days of Geography for Second Grade by Shell Education, 180 Days of Social Studies for Second Grade, Shell Education. Like I said, my personal opinion, if you are not concerned with doing a really geography heavy year, this is just fine. This has some geography. You can do some read alouds from different topics. Any of these the um, weeks in here would be great jumping off points to um, hit up teachers, pay teachers if you wanted to amp up any of the um, skills. But like I said, geography was always something that I kind of struggled with in school. I'm not sure if Parker will, but I just kind of played it safe and got this one as well. These are also both available um, grades K through six, as well as many different other topics. Um, we have the spelling we love. There's like uh, language studies, I think. Um, there's a bunch of them. Just math, I think. I'm not sure. I, I will link them in um, the description box below. We do purchase ours on Amazon. We are comfortable with the price that they are offered for there. And like I said, they we used the spelling one and the conquering first grade one last year, and we really were impressed. Parker really liked them. Um, they, the length of the worksheets gave enough information where I felt like he was learning something, but also that it wasn't super overwhelming. So if there are any other uh, questions you have about these, please feel free to leave them in, it, um, in the comments and I will get back to you. Or if there's any other curriculum books that you noticed that we had or any resources that we have that you would like more information on or a specific video on, feel free to let me know. I would be more than happy to film those for you. Um, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share for more content like this. And we thank you so, so, so much for subscribing and for watching our content. Like I said before, and probably will say about a million times, we are absolutely loving um, providing some YouTube content for you. So thank you and have a good day. We will see you next time. Bye. Or as Parker would like to say, peace.